The only way I'm going to get out of here is to find a stream or river and follow it. And the best way to find that is to head downhill. But it's tough going. The forest floor is a slick layer of rotting leaves on top of mud. You need to walk carefully to avoid spraining an ankle and never clutch your branches in case it's a snake. Where the hell am I? The temperature must be already almost 85 degrees and it's so humid. I've only moved a few hundred yards and already I'm soaked in sweat. Because I can't see much of the sky, it's easy to feel claustrophobic. There's wildlife all around me and so far it's friendly. This area of the rainforest actually has the highest concentration of jaguars. But what I feel is that the real dangers for me are going to be the little things. You know, the scorpions and the mozzies uh, and the snakes. Just walking along I need to be careful and watch where I tread. Step over a log or grab a vine without looking and I could get bitten. Look, see that? That's a fair the last snake. And that's why you've got to be so careful uh, moving through the jungle. And yeah, it's got the diamond pattern and these guys are responsible uh, for more deaths in Central and South America than any other snake. They're unbelievably deadly. And fair de last literally means it means lance head. When they strike, uh, that will inject almost quarter of a shot glass, this hematoxic venom. And if that struck and bit me, I could well be dead by nightfall. I need to find my bearings as quickly as I can. I'm going to climb the biggest tree I can find and see if I can get a lie of the land. Despite being an experienced climber, in the jungle it's hard. This is going to be tougher than I thought. But if I can get up high and see a way out, it will be worth the risk. This is like nothing I've climbed before. This is not like a rock face. These branches and vines can break at any moment. So I have to be so careful. Well, I'm getting some height up this tree now. And I know that because seen some of those monkeys and they're now beneath me so I'm getting somewhere I'm probably at about the third floor at the moment but I've got to get up to that fifth floor <sighs> but I could really do with a lift the trees around me are thin and spindly and like me, they're putting all their energy into getting out into the daylight above them. <laughs> 